Okay, let's look at variable lists. And if you're coming from another language, it's an array, basically. <clears throat> so a variable list is a variable that contains multiple values. So defining a string or a number variable list is very similar. All you have to do is you name your variable and then you inside of parentheses, you're going to do what number of strings or numbers you're going to have inside of that list. So let's say two. Let's do two for both of them. So with this, what I'm saying is that my both my string variable list and my number variable list have two places. It's like, look at that at a locker that has two drawers. So there's two drawers and in each draw I can place a different variable. At the moment, these are empty drawers and there's nothing in there. It's actually in this one, there's two empty strings and in this one, there's two drawers with the number zero. Now, after I define these variables, I can actually place things in their drawers. So let's work with the number variable list first. So I can say var set and I use my variable and I'm going to say in the first draw and this is zero based, which means to access my first draw, my first placement, I have to say zero. Zero is my first placement, not one. One is my second placement. So if I say zero, and I want to put number five inside of that first placement. And then I can say for my second placement, which is draw one, because it starts at zero. So draw one is my second placement. I want to place the number 10. So if in this button, I do a note to check what is inside my first draw. I can say zero. What is it? So I'm asking what is inside my first draw, zero. Check variable. Well, five, the number five is what you have in your first placement. Okay, I want to check what's inside my second placement, which is number one. Uh, first, I have to reload. Well, that's the number 10. Okay, if I ask for number two, I get an error because there is no, you, I didn't find a, a, a third draw, a third placement. If I did, I say this actually has three draws, not two. And I ask for two, then it's zero because all of them have zero until I've set something, until I place something in there. And it works pretty much the same thing with the string variable. So let's look at our string variable here and control D just to select all this and then control V to paste. So on my first draw, I'm going to say hello, why not? And on my second draw, I'm going to say rolled, why not? So if I look at my first placement, which is zero, I reload, I get the low. And if I look at my second place, which is one, I get, I have to reload first, please. I get world. Now a very handy command to use with string variable, with the list variables or array, whatever you want to call them, is var size. So if I say var size, and I place the name of my array in there. And I check, it's gonna say two. You have two positions inside of this array, or this var list. If I now come here and add another one, and this is gonna give me an error if I don't have the right amount. And I say, blah, blah, blah. And then I come back here, reload, check variable. Now there's three positions in there. That's right, three positions. I've set it as three positions. So that's var lists, or if you're coming from another language, you probably know this as arrays.